Good day, everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful day. My name is Teacher May, and welcome to Online Escuela. Please don't forget to subscribe. Today, we will continue our discussion on matter, but this time, it will be about the two classifications of matter. Matter can be classified as either mixture or pure substance. Then, mixtures can either be homogeneous or heterogeneous, while pure substance can either be elements or compounds. Let us focus first on mixture. What is a mixture? Can you guess? Very good! Mixtures are combination of two or more objects or two or more substances that are physically blended and not chemically combined with each other. That's why they can still be separated by physical means. And with that, the substances in a mixture retain their individual properties. Example, when salt is dissolved into the water, it retains its composition and properties because only its form changes. Dissolved salt is still a salt. Let's have more examples. When we breathe, there are two gases. We breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is an example of a gas mixture. Carbon as a gas plus oxygen, which is a gas also, mixed together, they form carbon dioxide or CO2. Liquid sauce made from the mixture of soy sauce and vinegar is an example of liquid mixture. And the last example we have is the famous macaroni salad, which is an example of solid mixture. As I have mentioned earlier, mixtures can either be homogeneous or heterogeneous. What is the difference between the two? Well, homogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the composition is uniform throughout the mixture. And... When two or more substances combine, they appear as one substance. For example, water, which is colorless, mixed with a pink colored powder juice, will eventually look pink after the powder dissolved. As we look at it, both substances mixed well with each other that they appeared as one. Heterogeneous is a mixture that is not the same throughout. It is made of two or more substances that are not spread out evenly. Here we have examples of chocolates of different colors and pepperoni pizza. At one glance, we can clearly see the different substances mixed in each of the examples. Let's have a quick check if you understood the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture by just looking a picture. First, we have a cloudy sky and clear sky. Which of them is the homogeneous and the heterogeneous? Very good! Cloudy sky is the heterogeneous while clear sky is the homogeneous. Next, we have band paper and lined paper. Very good again! Band paper is the homogeneous and lined paper is the heterogeneous. And last, we have ice cream, vanilla, and rocker road. Very good! Vanilla is homogeneous while rocker road is the heterogeneous. Moving on to the types of mixtures. Solution. It is a homogeneous mixture that is composed of two or more substances but appears to be single or one. 
substances that are mixed together were evenly distributed. A mixture with one substance dissolves into another. Example, when salt and sugar are added to the liquid substance or water respectively, both solid substances dissolve into the water and completely mixed with it as if they disappeared. Colloid A colloid is a homogeneous mixture with medium-sized particles. The particles are large enough to see but not large enough to settle or be filtered out of the mixture. Examples are whipped creams, paints, hand creams or hand lotions, and toothpaste. Lastly, we have suspension. A suspension is a heterogeneous mixture with large particles. They are heterogeneous fluid containing solid particles which will settle over time if left undissolved and undisturbed. In our examples, both liquid substances contain solid substances that do not dissolve which will eventually settle at the bottom after some time. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something from this video. Till next time. Bye!